I am your host, Antonio Sayek, and I'm glad to present to you the weekly research highlights for the region. Last week, we downgraded the ratings on Chilean panel producer Masisa to B, and at the same time, placed the rating on Credit Watch negative. The downgrade reflects the company's weaker than expected operating performance and a higher concentration on short-term debt, which raises pressure on its capital structure and liquidity position. The Credit Watch negative reflects the authority's pending approval to liquidate its Mexican assets. We also downgraded cement producer InterCement Brazil rating to B+, with a stable outlook. This action reflects our view that weak macroeconomic conditions in Brazil and Argentina will dent the group's overall cement sales and profitability, leading to weaker than expected credit metrics and pressured liquidity position on the entity over the next year. The stable outlook mirrors that despite longer than expected deleveraging, the group should contain further risks to its liquidity position through refinancing and counter cyclical measures to reduce its debt. Afterwards, we downgraded Grupo Senda Autotransporte to D. This downgrade follows the company's recent announcement to file for bankruptcy protection to face its liquidity pro problems and continue its operations. The rating also reflects the recent announcement that the company will miss the payment of interest on three of its outstanding short-term issues. Finally, last week, we revised the outlook to positive on Chilean holding company Sociedad de Inversiones Pampa Calichera and affirmed its B- rating. The positive outlooks reflects the improved prospects for its subsidiary, Sociedad Química y Minera de Chile, which has resulted in better than expected dividends in 2018 and ensures high dividend payout in the following years. In addition, the company extended its maturity profile, which reduced its refinancing risk until early 2020. This was another segment of our Latin America news. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week.